The ministry that Paul rendered along with those that served along with them, it wasn't for the sake of showing them what they had to offer. It was more so testifying of what God was bringing through them. The proof was when they be, he began to talk about the sincerity of the heart as opposed to the performances. And I chuckled because ultimately it wasn't about my ability to set myself in a position to represent myself well to others. It was about a place of or a posture of my heart that allowed God to exude his own self through me. It's for that reason from the time I grabbed the microphone, I wasn't on my own agenda. I couldn't follow my own script. It didn't matter what I had read or studied or organized. In that moment, I'm feeling it compelled to call somebody forward to speak what the Lord is saying to him. Unfortunately, many of us don't trust God there. So we're left with the, the, what the New Living Translation said, a spectacular ministry. What's a spectacular ministry? Well, I'll let you define it. It's kind of a relative term. You get to choose what spectacular is. But for some of us, if we got the smoke coming while the praise team is going and the ding ling ling got the guitar playing in the background and everybody's on the screen and everything in the building looks perfect and the lights are turned down and people got their hands lifted up and the service end in one hour and we like, man, this is spectacular ministry. I just don't think ministry take all day. You want my position? You think I planned this? Now I got to try to catch up. Try to keep y'all engaged because about 40 minutes got spent pouring into other people's lives that God knew needed it. Now I got to worry about if y'all okay with it. She didn't have to worry about that amongst God's people. We should be rejoicing. Recitation was never supposed to take the place of visitation. So this sincerity of heart was driving what they did. And Paul, he said, this is commendable. We want you all to be proud of the fact that we didn't just go with the status quo. We want to be excited that we didn't just look down the street and on the Internet to see what everybody else was doing to decide what we wanted to see here at Breakers. At Breakers, we care about sincerity of heart. We care about sincerity of heart more so than the ability to give the illusion of the perfect performance. We care about sincerity of heart even if it means that sincere heart along the way falls 20 times along the way. But when the heart is right, we care more about that than the one that know how to dress themselves out like, like they never do anything wrong. Why? Because at the end of the day, the ministry isn't about what you can show on the outside. It's about what you'll allow God to do on the inside. 